Alright guys, this is Derek from Warcry Adventures. I'm here to do an Average Joe review with you. I'm going to review two different satellite companies. One of them is going to be Canada Satellite and the other one's going to be Road Post. They both offer very similar global plans. And I've decided to do this review because last year I used Canada Satellite and then this year I'm using Road Post. So I just kind of want to go over the differences and give you a little bit of my personal experience. Um, one of the satellite phones I use are the Inmarsat satellite phone. It's this one right here. It's got the antenna that folds out. So this is what I take with me out in the bush. And um, I just want to help you guys make an informed decision on what satellite service provider to use for your satellite devices. And for me, I only use these satellite devices seasonally. So I want a plan A that's affordable one that doesn't offer like a yearly contract and obviously I want good service so let's check it out alright guys uh, here we're on the Canada Satellite webpage uh, just bear with me as I'm a newbie to all this technolo technology stuff um, yeah so as you can see Canada Satellites right here uh, we're on the Inmarsat ISAT standard global postpaid plan it's $54.99 there's some other kind of specs and clarification and then as you can see the monthly subscription is like 40 bucks Minimum contract period for three months, which isn't too bad. Uh, you only get 10 minutes a month, free incoming calls, free incoming text messages. And then another thing that's important is the text message aspect because you can send. GPS pings to somebody that you know just to let them know what your GPS coordinates are when you're either hiking or backpacking or just outdoors hunting or whatever it is. So there you go, right? 10 minutes per month. There's your global coverage, right? Most main continents it covers. And uh, that's Canada Satellite's global plan for you. And then we have Road Post, which is, uh, again, it's the Inmarsat ISAT phone global monthly service plans. It's about $54.99, so not too bad. Uh, this plan offers you 15 minutes. And only one month contract which is sweet, right? Just pay month for month, and then when your season's done or something happens, then you can just get out of it. Uh, text messaging, you know, reasonably cheap. And to send out a few pings when you're wandering around isn't a bad idea. You know, what's a couple extra bucks for somebody to know exactly where you are? And then, yeah, just the general, you know, uh, coverage map, which is very similar to Canada Satellite. And the sweet thing is, if you do want to spend the extra little bit of money, you can get the 60-minute plan, too. That's only one month contract. So, that's really it. All right, guys, now I've shown you both Canada Satellite's plan and I've shown you Road Post plan. The whole reason I made this video, um, I'm going to admit, is kind of biased because, like I said, I used Canada Satellite last year and I attempted to use them again this year, but the customer service is brutal, just absolutely brutal. Nobody would respond to my emails. Um, when I ended up calling the actual office itself, like the physical location, um, the staff member, you know, they sounded like they were asleep and that I was just like a nuisance to them. So, like, 
And then I, I still went online onto Canada Satellite and I tried to order uh, a new SIM card for a new plan. And it was just like a technological disaster. And then so I emailed Canada Satellite about getting some help and they just never even responded. And so that's why I ended up switching to Roadpost and already Roadpost has just been like on the ball, fast delivery of the SIM card. I've already used, took my phone out and like, it felt like it was twice as fast connecting. So all I'm saying right now is my experience is that Canada Satellite's customer service sucks. And so far, so far Roadpost services is two thumbs up.